Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I will be showing you guys how to fold the Electro Bird Electro Wrath. And as you can see, it has a color change cockpit and retractable landing gear. And it is a variation of the Electro Bird. And it also has reinforced wings. So yeah, let's begin. Going to begin by folding the diagonal. to fold that point to that point. Then you're going to squash fold this flap. Going to turn the model over and repeat on the other flap. You can also call this plane the Electro Bird EW or just the EEW for short. Next, you are going to Fold these two flaps over. Then you're going to squash fold both of them. And then you are going to fold, if you squash folded the right one, you're going to fold the left edge into the center and vice versa. on the other flap and if you squash folded the left one first you're going to fold the right edge into the center then you are going to petal fold the flap And then unfold it. Then you're going to turn the model over. And then you're going to fold these edges into the center. Just like that. Make sure to fold these edges into the center. And then you are going to fold the wings out. So that they are approximately one inch from this point to the nose. Then you're going to repeat that on the other side. Then you're going to unfold, fold this flap up. Inside of this fold, the wings in and out. And 
Then you are going to fold this flap up, but do not flatten these wings yet because you are then going to correct or er, fold on that crease and that is going to allow this edge to pop out like that and then you can Swivel it like that. So you're going to swivel fold it or flatten it like this. Partially. Because then you are going to swivel this flap back. So you're going to swivel it back. But first, you are going to have to crease it sharply before you swivel it. And to swivel it back, you are basically just going to swivel that layer forward or backwards, just like that. And then you are going to mountain fold the layer behind from that crease all the way to that corner like that then you are going to then you're going to swivel this flap back and then basically you're just going to fold that flap to the center and then flatten all this and then you can Swivel fold this back down. Like that. And then you are going to mountain fold it or reverse fold it under. So that it's all like this and you can fold the wing over and then you're going to repeat that process on the other side so you're just kind of Swivel folding that it might actually be better to unfold that wing to match it up with the other wing. can just refold the other wing
swivel fold that part down, fold a crease from there to that point, basically like that. Then you're going to fold this flap to the center crease so that you can then swivel fold it swivel fold it again fold it under. So like that, then you can fold it over, make sure it matches with the other side. Then you can get started with the tail fins. What you're going to have to do, you're going to have to swivel that paper over to get it out of the way and then you're kind of just going to fold this flap over to where this edge connects with that edge so they kind of form together like one edge and then you're going to fold it back then you're going to fold it up, then fold the other side to match. And you're going to fold these two edges over like that. Then you can inside wrist fold them. Fold these two flaps out. And then mount fold that tip before you then side of wrist fold tail fins in and out or just one tail fin. So that you can then unfold one flap. These will become the landing gear. Next you're going to turn the model over. Fold the tail fins over too. Make sure they also match. One way you can check is that they are on those two creases or not. And then you can pedal fold this flap along the existing creases.
Then you're going to fold that tip down, fold it over. So basically, like any traditional color change cockpit, pop the trap paper out, swivel fold it over, pop the trap paper out again, Fold this flap over, you can pre-crease it if you want, and squash fold it, and then you're going to mountain fold those edges behind, that's the cockpit done, all that's left to do is to make the landing gear and the locking mechanism and then jet fold the model and shape it so what i like to do is i like to pre-crease these just fold that edge to that edge fold this down along that edge so we'll make it easier for the next step Next step is to spread squash these two flaps. If there are any imperfections, you can go ahead and fix it or fix them. And then spread squash the other flap. You can sometimes pop it out to straighten out that flap if it sort of kinks. Then you can fold it down. And then you're going to carefully close sink these two flaps as to not tear them. So just normally push on them. And the reason why you just push on them is if you spread it out like that and then push, the tension on the paper pulling it back might tear this crease. So you just push carefully so you do not tear the rear section and ruin the locking mechanism. you were done with that, turn the model over and squash fold this flap. Make sure it aligns just like that. You can also pre-crease it. And then squash fold it. Next, you are going to petal fold it up. If that flap pops out, that's fine. Just pop it back in. Inside of wrist, fold it out. Just like that. And repeat on the other side. Just be careful when you're pre-creasing it and you're opening this colored side. Do not open it quickly so that this part tears like what happened here. 
as you can see, this part can tear. So just be careful. Again, if that part pops out, that's fine. You can just pop it back in when you're done with the petal fold. And then just fold that those or the strut out inside of wrist fold it as far as it will go. Make sure that they are matching like that. Then you're going to fold the wings over one last time. to jet fold the model so basically just make a crease from that crease that goes underneath that flap so that horizontal crease all the way to that corner if you want to pre-crease it which I highly recommend doing If you do not want to pre-crease it, you can just bend the tip down along that crease, pinch it together, and flatten it. But I'm going to pre-crease it. And then jet fold the model. Since these rear landing struts are very small, you are only going to inside of wrist fold this flap about that size so the front of the plane isn't super high. If you want to, you can experiment, make it higher or lower, see what's better for you. You can fold the wings up. Before you are going, before you insert one of these flaps into the other, and then fold it over. What I like doing is I fold it over. Toward the direction of the flap you insert it in. And then you can kind of squash this inner flap down. And then as to this flap, you can inside of wrist fold it and then if you want to make afterburners you can but since they are going to be so deep inside what I do is just fold that flap inside one of the landing struts or inside the area where the landing struts are formed then you can just Flatten the wings out. Fold out the tail fins. And then these rear landing struts will already be separated. But if they are not, you can 
separate them. Then you can set it down, shape it if you haven't done that yet. And once you have done that, there it is. The Electro Bird Electro Wrath. Hope you enjoyed folding it, and I will see you next time. Bye.